In recent years, WKU football fans have been blessed with playing in bowl games in five of the past six seasons, but many fans don't realize how far back the history of this team really goes. Although fans call Smith Stadium home today, the original home of the Hilltoppers was the Bowling Green Fairgrounds. But when L.T. Smith took over as athletic director, all that changed. They, they decided it was time we had our sta stadium of our own, so they, uh, they took, scooped out an old rock quarry that was hanging on the south end of campus. But what a beautiful setting up there on the hill and the view, uh, it was, it was, it was quite, quite, a, quite a wonderful location. The, that was the home of Hilltopper football from 1927 to 1968. Although he's known more for basketball, Edgar Allen Diddle took over the football team in the 1920s and because there were rules against players talking to the coaches on the sideline, he began to use a towel to signal plays for the guys out on the field. The towel started out as a hidden symbol for different plays, but it has turned into a historical symbol for everyone who steps foot on the campus of WKU. It came through our history as part of our DNA and it wasn't contrived, it wasn't made up. It, it naturally became the symbol of our spirit and our determination and, and, our, and, our, and our achievement. So many universities, everybody's trying to create something that makes them special. We didn't have to create that. It evolved naturally. The Tops continued to bring talent on the field even after Diddle decided to focus on basketball and fans saw their first All-American in 1952 in Jimmy Fikes. Like many Hilltopper greats, Fikes' days at WKU didn't end on the field as he would go on to become the winningest and longest tenured coach in WKU football history. Jimmy devoted his adult life to Western Kentucky University. Jimmy was an exceptional individual. Uh, he was very sincere when he used the term that he used often, "My, this is my university. He may have been one of those people that, that the motto, the spirit makes the master fit to a T. Just nine years after Fikes retired, the football team was in danger of being shut down due to budget cuts. But Coach Jack Harbaugh had other plans. He kept the program above 500 for a few seasons, and just a decade later, Topper fans saw their first national football championship in school history. And although the Tops are struggling through their 100th season, WKU saw its best-ranked recruiting class in school history come in this year, and Gary Ransdell thinks that regardless of the record, the one thing that will never die for WKU is the spirit. Uh, and it doesn't go away. You don't turn that off just because you it's time to retire from, from a particular position. Uh, that will always be part of us. It will always be central uh, to, to us, both in our hearts and in our heads. For The Extra Point, I'm Miles Schroeder.